at Sylvia Coppola's The Creek Pottery to do a pit firing. And we have the pit going here. It started off, um, Phil made the pit, my husband, and dug down about eight inches of gravel, excuse me. Um, the pit size on the inside is four eight by six eight. Um, and then we got it about 24 inches high. With the and then he's got angle iron on the top to help hold the boards as we put it on so it doesn't fall in on the pots. Uh, before we started the fire, there's about four to six inches of sawdust on the bottom. And then we put the pots in. Most of them were in aluminum foil saggers, but some are raw pots in there with uh, cow dung, um, paper, uh, sawdust, and miracle grow around the raw pots with baking soda and salt. And the others have, the sagger fried pots have various things inside, anywhere from uh, steel wool, copper wire, copper scrubby stretched out, feathers, um, coffee grounds, banana peels, any organic things, orange peels, apple peels, and ferric chloride. Some have ferric chloride on them and uh, baking soda, salt, and miracle Grow inside the saggers. And so then we're starting the, we just started the fire about 10 minutes ago and we're going to let it, the fire just kind of smolder. It's mostly sawdust in there with a few thin logs on, on it right now. It needs to just smolder. The sawdust needs to, to go for about 40 minutes or so. And then we'll start adding more wood to it. You can see the stacks of wood we have no, here. You'll know the firing is, is almost done when the aluminum foil starts to disintegrate on the saggers. That tells you you're around 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, and we want to take it up a little higher, 13 to 1,400 degrees, and I will be checking it with a barometer in different spaces, but it's very spotty because if you just put wood on, it'll show it's at 1,400 degrees, and then 10 minutes later, it'll be down. So it's, it's very uneven firing. Um, at the end of the day, we will cover it with tin after the, after the fire kind of smolders out, which is usually around three to four hours. We'll put, cover it with a piece of tin and let it just sit overnight. And the smoldering of, and fuming continues through the night of, as it's cooling off. Then tomorrow morning, we'll, we can take the pots out and kind of clean them up. Some of them will need to be cleaned. Uh, some of them will have aluminum foil stuck to them, but most of the aluminum foil is gone uh, at the end. So that's it. Cool. Cool. The pinkish, orangish color have ferric chloride on them. Okay. Um, most of them do. Um, this one over here and this one yeah. had orange terrace gelata. All the pots have terrace gelata on them, white okay. terrace and they've been burnished. These two had orange terracidge instead of white. And this part? That one had white terracidge. Okay. It got a lot of, uh, some of the spots are salt and sugar. Oh. Um, oh. This one has a lot of uh, crinkles from the aluminum foil, oh. a lot of print from that. This one has a lot of copper in it, but you can also see, that was copper wire I put on, but it turned out white instead of, uh, oh. um, but see that's sugar spots right there. Yeah. And the orangey reds are from, like this is from steel wool. Oh. Um, I had one that had a feather imprint. I think I sold all the ones that had feather imprints okay. on them. But the, the oh, black wow. spots too have, uh, this one is pretty interesting. This is a piece of that copper scrubby pulled oh. apart. So that's what it looks like. And there's some copper up there, copper wire, copper, copper wire. wire. And depending on the fire, it can turn pinkish or orangey. Um, or it can turn blue. <laughs> and if you don't select these, you can use if you don't want to if you don't want to spray them with uh, you can use um, floor wax. I use yeah. something called Brewax, B R I W A X. 
but all these I sprayed with acrylic spray. I just tend to like the shine better. If you wax them, they don't get nearly as shiny, and they're just a little more dull. I think this brings out the color more. Here's a good example of steel wool. Yeah. That's steel wool right there. Wow. And that might be a feather imprint right there. The feathers are very... Yeah. Um, it's a very soft print that you get in, in this. Sometimes they don't show it all. And this? I, I did put, this is copper wire. I'm not sure what this is. This is probably the miracle Grow that did the pink, uh, along with the fair cut. There's more, here is more steel wool on there. Um, here's a good example of the copper wire, yeah. the, the red. This was a piece of copper scrubby that I just pulled out and put against it. And the little hair lines. Yeah. They look like veins. Those are copper. Um, wow. That white one? The white one. It, it also had tear stitch. Oh, wow. This is a lot of salt and sugar on there. There are some marks. I put grass. I put some clover in. I put different. You just get real subtle. Yeah. Uh, but you can see some of the organic vegetation in there. Here's another good one up here. Oh, Phil's telling me to come out. Um, here's another good one with a lot. This had ferric chloride, so you got the pinks.